As I come forward and I'm placing the blade in the water, that is the most unstable point of the boat. So I have to really reach out and drop the blade in carefully while my whole body is just kind of hanging on. My toes even grip the bottom of the boat because I'm just right at the edge of stability and I've got to get in there and drop the blade and then immediately apply a lot of power. Getting everything done early is something that was also really satisfying to me personally. Getting to that water when it's really flat before anyone else has disrupted it. Creating this space for yourself that's very focused and it's very much a, kind of this like curtain that you come through and you're just, it's you by yourself. Take the stroke come up, go back, take the stroke. Um, and so it's, it's a very um, relaxing mantra in terms of the mind. And I think that's why we tend to crave it so much is that it's something that's really um, cleansing for your mind and your body and your soul. And you're able to just focus on only that. You've got to be able to stay really present in what you're doing all the time. Even though it, it looks elegant and it looks easy and it looks smooth, there's a lot of um, things happening. My brain is really on trying to focus, trying to make sure I'm doing certain things correctly. It's something that I'm going to have for just a second and think, oh, that was really great. Let me take a thousand more strokes and see if I can get it again. being able to feel when you've gotten better, that is something that, again, is years and years of practicing that focus and feeling kind of what it feels like. That's something that we talk a lot about in rowing is, is how it feels. That's kind of the close your eyes and feel it with your body and feel it with your mind and understand that the way that you're moving and the mechanics of what you're doing and how that feels in terms of boat speed, it's all about being relaxed and powerful at the same time and being able to execute that power really gently um, and so it's kind of a challenge but it also is what continues to push me forward that I'm really excited about the work that I'm doing. The way that you take the stroke is pretty simple. You go up, you place the blade and you come back through. Um, but I think that there's little intricacies happening at each point of the stroke. So um, for me, and something that I've been working on lately is the placement piece. You're making sure that your head is forward, that your eyes are relaxed, that your shoulders are relaxed. And so the handle is gonna come forward, but the blade is gonna come behind you. So you can't see it happening. And so in your mind's eye, you're trying to find the water there. You're trying to feel the muscle memory of finding the water with your blade and reaching forward really delicately to drop it in and then really aggressively to pull it forward. It feels really good to put in that kind of work. When we show up on race day, it's like you can't really do anything at that point. You have what you have. Um, and that's maybe something that you earned three or four months before that or five or six months before that. And so you really have to um, plan everything out and you really have to put in the consistency of the work. As we go forward, I think it becomes more and more clear what you can achieve with that. Um, so it's that there's just more to come. Thank you.